Hey guys, I got one for you. Um, impeller housings. Let's let's check this out. Um, this is a, a wood chipper of mine, and the problem is with all impellers is if there is this one particularly, it likes to clog up. Um, if you feed too much in it, to it at a time, it'll clog. And the problem with it is if you see this gap between the housing and the impeller, but you can't ever get much closer than that when you're dealing with metal on metal, unless it's a precision machined surface. And the reason is, is because it would be catastrophic failure if this, you know, if your big flywheel chipper actually intersected with the housing. Um, a trick I've done numerous times on snow blowers, I've actually never done it on a wood chipper, is these. These are little rubber paddles that I pull off of used snow blowers. See, this is off like a Toro um, S200, S620, uh, a couple other snowblowers use similar things, but these are worn out, worn out past their usable life. They, they spin around and beat the pavement and blow the snow. Um, but what you do, and I do the same thing on the snowblower, like I said, is you actually just screw it right inside the housing, just like so, and it deflects. I have to trim this one just a little bit. We'll do that right now. So I, I, I put them on there long and then I cut them to fit and they'll actually wear out to fit. You can leave them just a little bit snug. There we go. So now that's size to fit and it'll rub around in there. I'm not gonna do all four paddles, I'm just gonna do two. But it, it grabs now. You see this one I did on the other side. See, it's cleaning all the way around, even on the bottom. And it'll only take, you know, 30 seconds to run in, and these will be worn perfectly to the surface, as close as possible. But you also notice, when you spin it, that this inside housing isn't perfectly round, because it hits, it'll hit up here, it won't hit down to the bottom side. But essentially what's happening, here, I'll show you on this. Your rotor's spinning in the middle, but they have to leave a gap. So, whether it's snow or, or wood chips, as this is spinning to throw out the, the wood chips, they're actually falling over the top, losing their momentum. Um, also, the speed right here, the speed right here is moving slower than here, than here, this is faster and faster and faster. So the further out it goes, the faster it is. The faster the velocity, you know, you'll have an opening right here in your snowblower or whatnot, the faster it'll throw it out. So by adding a rubber paddle piece to the front edge of it, now it'll always scrape along, giving you the max length and the mass, you know, the max throwing power. Um, just adding even a quarter inch on a lot of these snow blowers makes a huge difference. So you'll notice on a snow blower right here. Um, let's see if I can get you in there. You'll notice that the gap between the housing and the body is, this one's not too bad, but when it gets up here, it's, you know, it's a good eighth of an inch. And that makes a huge difference of how far it throws. Um, I've done it to quite a few snowblowers that I've sold. Oh, you guys can't even see. I did it to a snowblower, a John Deere in here. Maybe I can get you guys in here. Yes, see if you'll notice in this John Deere, you'll notice that I, I put a paddle in there. And you'll notice that it sticks up roughly three eighths of an inch because that's how far off it was. A little thing like that's a quick easy fix um, and it makes a world of difference. So I'm gonna actually fire this up and see if it keeps clogging. Hey, we'll even show you starting the Ferguson.
and I'm not just saying this for the video, but that, that throws easily twice as hard. Um, it's just launching them out of there. I wasn't able to feed a log that fast um, ever since I've owned it. Um, I didn't buy a new, but hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, click the button up there, subscribe, leave a comment below, rate me, give me thumbs up, thumbs down, tell me what you think. Um, and maybe in the winter time I'll do a video if you have a snowblower of how to, you know, do the paddles exactly on those. Um, but world of difference, awesome. See you guys. Bye.